Well, the, the first couple of days of school, probably, they're not going to be seamless. But for one Horry County mom, the first day of school actually came with a pretty big scare. News 13's Taylor Maresca spoke to a parent about what happened when she saw her kids on her home's front camera wandering around the neighborhood. They obviously weren't supposed to be there. Good morning, Taylor. Good morning, Aaron. Brianna Fouts' kids, Jackson and Jordan, are in kindergarten and third grade at Waccamaw Elementary School. They were supposed to be at after school care on Monday afternoon, so you can imagine she was not pleased to see them alone in the neighborhood after school. I was freaking out. This is what Fouts saw when she looked at her home security camera on Monday after school. She said her kids were afraid, and her five year old was in hysterics. They don't really know how to get around. They had to walk from the front of the neighborhood, which is about a 10 minute walk, and find their way home after being released from the bus. She said she had communicated to the school that they were supposed to be on the bus to after school care, but their teachers insisted they were to get on the regular school bus. And they said, no, this is where you're supposed to go. He knew immediately when they were trying to put him on a regular bus that. That's not where he was supposed to be. She found out later the daycare bus knew it was short students. When we spoke with the daycare. They said that they had gone to pick up the students as usual and they have, you know, their list in their hand and they said that they were missing several kids. Horry County Schools says the first days of school aren't going to be perfect. When school starts, there's, there's a transition time. But for Fouts, this mistake is bigger than just a small transition period. So this is not just a late bus. This is not just a lunch menu change. This is a total miscommunication error. It can't be allowed to happen. Horry County Schools said in a statement to News 13, quote, it appears there were a few issues that took place, including the information provided to the school during student registration, daycare transportation confirmation with the school, drop off procedures, etc. Fouts says she appreciates the school's apology, but more needs to be done in the future. Going forward, what do you think that change should be? I think that they just need to really follow their procedures. There has to be better ways to account for every single child. Fouts said that both Jackson and Jordan are safe and doing okay, but she's hoping the school finds a way to make sure this does not happen to any other families ever again. Reporting live for News 13, I'm Taylor Maresca.